everyone and welcome to this month's BoxyCharm unboxing where I have got my double BoxyCharm here and we're gonna open these up together. They are of equal size so I am unsure which one's which but we are gonna see what's inside for November. Very exciting. I don't know if BoxyCharm was behind on shipping or if I was just behind on opening and testing but I feel like I just did my last BoxyCharm like a week ago. <laughs> So let's see. Anyways, more fun for all. So we have our base boxy charm here. This is it's giving giftable glam. That's the theme. So let's see what we got. It looks like, ooh, I've kind of always wanted to try one of these just because it seems fun. But I also feel like I'm at such a good point in my hair journey with my curls <laughs> that I really don't want to put them through straightening. So maybe my boyfriend Dan will let me use this on his hair. This is one of those heat up brushes, a mini heat brush in the apricot shade. I mean, the thought of it just seems so nice in comparison to a traditional squeezy straightener or whatever. I don't know. Anyways. We have got In My Element eyeshadow palette from Item, is that correct? Never heard of it. It's a 10 shade shadow palette. Let's take a peek, see what this looks like. Got a rose gold exterior and the inside. Ooh, pretty. We have a mix, a mix of some warm and cool tones there. Not quite what I was expecting, but it looks pretty, so we'll be able to give it a try. And like I said, I have never even heard of this brand, much less tried it, so that'll be fun. We have got a TYNT Beauty something or another. Reveal ultra hydrating cucumber melon gel mask okay good for the season we have got a hydrating lip balm from Luna magic in mango and cherry mm, yum these are huge for lip balms if they fill up the whole box ah they come in a tube okay I see well I love a good lip balm so that's great and then last but not least we have a velvet lip liner intense pigment long-lasting formula from Ciate London in the shade Coco. Let's see what this looks like. Pretty a brown mauve type of a shade. All right. So nothing crazy in this box I don't feel like but still excited about the items within. Now let's see what we have in our premium box. We have got, it's giving giftable glam again, and then lots of stuff. Let's see, complex culture, executive level mascara. I love trying out new mascaras, so that is uh, very exciting. I don't know that I've heard of that brand before. We have also got Saint Lux, not for resale, lip liner duo. It's like a red and a browny mauvey taupe. I'm pretty sure I have tried this brand of lip liner before. We have got the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. I feel like I have this one. It's from Rare Beauty. I love these. They're really beautiful. Yeah, I, I definitely have this color. It's really pretty. Oh, that's a bummer. I wish it was a shade I didn't already have. Whee! But I, I love the formula. It's really nice. Ooh, okay. We've got a Sculpt Lift Bar 24 Karat Gold from Skin Ink. Is this one of those like vibrating things? Yes, it massages. Ooh, how luxurious. I actually have one of these, but it's in like that T-bar shape. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. <laughs> It does feel really nice. It's just a matter of remembering that, hey, I have this thing. I should use the thing. Um, we have got Kate Somerville Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. I actually think I might have picked this one out. I don't feel like I remember it being a terrible choice between the two where I was like, I just can't. I feel like neither of the items really interested me. But either way, there we go. And then we have a no rinse micellar cleansing treatment. Did I just speak English? I'm not sure that I actually read the words and letters that were on here, but it lifts debris and draws out impurities while, did I just say debris? It lifts debris and draws out impurities while hydrating and soothing. What is wrong with me today? Okay. So so those are our items. Not the most terribly exciting two boxy charms I've ever had, but they are boxy charms nonetheless. And I'm going to be testing out the products and I'm going to be doing so with you guys. So I will see you in just a second here and we can do just that. Ready? 
ding all right so hopefully my little fan doesn't bug you it is so warm in here and i know y'all are gonna say well then why are you wearing a sweatshirt well i have to go out into the world later and it is very cold outside <laughs> like below freezing outside so hopefully like i said this isn't too loud for you but it is keeping me sane and dry so i have got the things i checked i do have this rare beauty product it's right here so i mean thankfully something going to the women's shelter that i know is a fantastic product sad for me but that's okay i already have it um i've got a mascara to test we have both of these sets of lip liners since i've tried the saint lux before that's another thing where i just don't use lip liners enough to justify putting one of these on i would rather give it away so to the women's shelter it goes i will try out the ciate one just for funsies and we also can put on some eyeshadow i didn't realize there was so little makeup in this boxy charm but that's okay we're still we're gonna have fun with it and i'm excited to test things out so i think first up I want to put on the lip liner I already have on I just put on some light makeup brows and blush um, and a little highlight some concealer but we have other makeup let's uh, test it we'll zoom you in a little bit and here is the lip liner looks like a smoky deep purpley mauve just in a little twist up crayon pencil type form and let's see how it does <laughs> Definitely not the creamy dreamiest. It is quite stiff and it's it's okay. It looks like it's giving like a blotted look to the lips. Pretty color, just not the best application. Although who knows, maybe that means it's gonna wear really well. I'm gonna put my Rare Beauty on top of it. As you can see, I've used a decent amount of it. Like I said, this product is just, it's a good one. It's lovely, so looks like it pairs pretty pretty perfectly with that liner mm, it's been a minute since i've used this that nice vanilla smell like i said though i love this product and this thankful shade is so pretty it's like your perfect rosy mocha kind of a color it's oh, i just love it so good to be reminded that i love it and that i should use it now eyeshadow really such a strange collection of colors <laughs> very warm up top cool on the bottom maybe that's how they planned it so you got kind of two looks that you can do so I guess I'm just gonna take a hint and go with it I'm gonna use the couple of matte purple shades in my crease and then the couple of shimmer shades on my lids hopefully things will go well I'm using the bottom row cuz I am sick of warm colors especially going into the winter where it's cold outside let's keep it cool on my face as well if we can so I'm gonna prep my eyes like I think I said and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put the shadow on you'll see you'll see in a speed up <laughs> actually surprising so the matte shades were nothing special they didn't blend terribly but they weren't super easy to blend the metallic shades though especially this one stellar it's almost wet worked best with my finger and this moonstar shade usually i feel like these shades have zero payoff to them but this one it's so pretty this beautiful lilac -y, purpley pink sparkly delight i don't know so pretty though big fan so now on to mascara let's see how this does this complex culture never heard of it but i'm always willing to try oh square square mascara different very plastic very clonky but it's what's inside that counts what kind of a brush do we have what kind of a formula let's find out <laughs> So 
So, not my favorite looking mascara. Um, this is very wet. This is very sticky. This is very clumpy. Can you see? I gotta put my glasses back on to make sure you guys can actually see this. You can just see it coming out of the top of the tube there. This is gloopy. This is stringy. You can see it on the wand there. If my camera will focus, this is quite the mascara. Not my favorite, that's for sure. But I think I got it to work. It feels a little gloopy and heavy on my lashes still. But I mean, I think I got it to look fine. And yeah, I mean, nothing really to scream from the mountaintops about or write home about. But here is the makeup today. I do already know that I love the lip product. So I guess what I can hope for is that the mascara doesn't flake and smudge and that the eyeshadow stays put. So we will be testing these things. We shall see and I will show you at the very end of the night. Ready? Ding! All right, my friends, it's the end of the night, and I, I mean, I hope you all are as ready to look at my face as I am. I'm curious to see how the eyeshadow turned out. I mean, the lip product is long gone, my friends. I think, did I already call you my friends? Well, you are my friends, just to reiterate. But lip product long gone, I already knew that about it. Doesn't matter. It's still a great lip product. The liner, whatever. But the eyeshadow, anytime I touch my eyes tonight, just lightly, glitter and sparkle coming off everywhere. So I'm a little nervous to look at the eyeshadow, but here we go. Let's look together. All right. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It doesn't look perfect. Don't get me wrong. It certainly has creased quite a bit. Not immensely, but quite a bit. And it looks like the mascara hung in there. Maybe a little tiny bit of flaking on one side. I just personally don't love the look of the mascara. So overall, I just don't think this was really my BoxyCharm month. These products really don't have a ton to do with me. I am curious though about these hydrating lip balms in mango and cherry. I'm gonna assume it has to do with the scent and the color of it. Let's see, cherry. You are indeed red. I don't think you smell like cherry, but let's see. Maybe that'll change when I rub it on my lips. Yes, things definitely changed. It definitely, it smells like cherry candy, but like a very specific cherry candy like some kind of a sucker or something. I can't think of what the actual brand and everything is, but this smells very familiar. I like it. And it feels fine on the lips. It doesn't feel hyper hydrating or anything, but you know, it is what it is. We'll keep giving it a try later on. And uh, I mean, I think that's about all I can really show you guys here. I'm still gonna stick behind the opinion that this wasn't the best month for BoxyCharm for me, but hey, that just means next month, I mean, it could get worse, but hopefully not too much worse. I don't feel like I got my money's worth out of these two boxy charms, but maybe once I start dabbling in the skincare of these two boxy charms, maybe then my opinion will change. As of right now, at least I had fun playing around with the products. We'll see if they become favorites or anything in the future. But for now, I'm gonna say eh on this month's boxy charm. You guys should certainly let me know down below how you felt about it. If you get boxy charm or just how you felt about the products you saw me get, let me know any and all of the things down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can simply tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.